and welcome to the show. Now today's video is sponsored by the awesome people over at Acer. And well, whenever I do one of these sponsored videos, I never quite go for the normal conventional route whatsoever. See, they want me to talk to you about the Predator Cup, an upcoming eSport event, and showcase their latest high-end PC. This is the Predator Orion 7000. It is an awesome piece of kit. There's a lot of very pretty colours going on. It's, uh, yeah, massively, massively powerful computer. Now, I could have it set up here in my office. It does all look very well and good. But, as I said, I'm not going to do this in the normal way. No, you see, instead... What I'm going to be doing is taking all of that computer gear and going to be trying to turn the boot of my car into a little gaming zone. And I'm going to see how fast I can drive a lap around the Silverstone circuit while in the boot of my car. I mean, look, the Audi is big enough and I've always wondered whether it would be possible and how comfy it would be. It's a bigger state car, so why not give it a go? No, I'm not going to, no, someone's not going to be driving the Audi around. I can't do that. Also, everything would fall over. But, we <laughs> see, this can only go really... I am slightly, slightly nervous. I can figure it out, though. It'll be fine, I'm sure. So, when I loaded all of this into the car, uh, I did leave plenty of clearance so when the boot shut I wouldn't smack it on, you know, the very, very nice computer gear. However, I did realise there was plenty of space to push the computers back, so I now have a little bit of room in here myself. It's not much, as you can see. Headspace, I'm not exactly the tallest person and headspace is still rather limited. Uh, however, we can almost, I mean, we can be lazy. We can kind of, like, lie down in here fairly well. Facts. We even got a bit more space. Here we go. It's odd, I'm not gonna lie, this is not the normal thing, but it works surprisingly well. See, here we go, the computer is pushed fairly far back now. There's enough leg room and everything. All is working, I've now got to try and do some driving and stuff. So, before we get started with my driving of this, I'll tell you a little bit about the Predator Cup. This is a big eSport event, and we start with the qualifiings. Now, this will run between 2nd to 5th of May. Uh, I'll put a link to the, the page if you want to go register and take part in this, and all, all the details and so on can be found on there. It's basically a hot lap competition. Who can go the fastest around the Silverstone GP circuit using the Mercedes uh, AMG GT3, the Lamborghini Huracan uh, GT3, or McLaren 650 uh, GT3 cars. Uh, the top drivers will go into the national finals, will be a uh a live race with 26 cars. The winners uh, of that, you can win uh, gaming PCs and Orion 3000 uh, up for offer on that one. There's some cash prizes as well. Uh, the top cars will go into, drivers will go into the international uh, final. Uh, again, when there is further prize money uh, available, uh, there is also the chance to race for Roman Grosjean's esports team, the R8G esports team. Uh, so, you know, there's some cool stuff out there to uh, to to be going uh, and winning, and it's well worth a try. At the end of the day, it's just you know, if if you're fast, you like your set of Corsa, uh, you can try and see how quickly you can get uh, around this this circuit. It's a good uh, little challenge, a fun little hot lapping thing uh, to have a go. So anyone can enter. You need a couple of the DLCs, Dream Pack Two and Three, I believe, uh, to take part. Uh, but uh, by now, most people have got that. Also, the DLC is incredibly cheap on Steam, We're about 80% off at the moment, which is uh, which is all very helpful indeed. So there we go. Uh, there will be links, uh, of course, in the description for this stuff if you want to go and have it a go. Now it is my turn to try and see how fast I can run around this circuit. So here we are. I am in my car. The game is ready. We are, I mean, just about as ready. I will say I started recording this and forgot to press 
begin on the recording. So I'm off to a wonderful start. I'm going to blame the fact that he's in a weird environment uh, because that seems like as good a reason as any. Uh, so we're at the Silverstone circuit. I've decided I'm going to have a drive of the uh, Lamborghini for this one. Uh, I've basically got two modes of driving for myself here. We can either be set up here in which there's not a huge amount of headroom, but we can be in full concentration mode, or we can go for the whole, ah, here we go, oh, a little, a little bit too far down, actually. There we go, or we can go for the full reclined, I am now nice and chill. Uh, this, I mean, this is one of the weirdest experiences. I've done YouTube for a while now. I've done weird things. This is amongst the most bizarre experiences I've ever done. <laughs> I am, I, I'm glad my drive is quite long and far away from the road, otherwise people would think I have gone mad. But anyway, we've got to go try and actually do... Oh, I'm going to confuse the webcam now with all this. We've got to actually try and do some driving uh, here on a set of Corsa and see what I can uh, get done, basically. Uh, of course, there is a small downside of being in the car, and that is that, well, I'm on a controller, not on a wheel, not got the proper sim rig or anything, because well, that doesn't fit in my car, okay? The RS6 is half decent in terms of size, but there is a limit, okay? There is, there is a limit as to what I can feasibly do. Uh, so, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, of course, look not terrible on a controller. Uh, the circuit that we are driving around, this is the Silverstone uh, GP track. Now, it is... That's actually not my favourite of circuits. I like Silverstone to a degree. I do kind of prefer the old one, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, not on this, I said this one's not bad, um, but the old layout, especially like bridge in that section, was one of my favourite layouts. And this one is just not quite as exciting. I don't think personally, but uh, there we go. Uh, we are going to break super, super late there. I say super late down here. Probably not in the grand scheme of things. The uh, line wants you to break crazy early down that part, so we don't listen to that whatsoever. Uh, we will try and get on the uh, on the power. Uh, now, I have got a little bit of assist going on uh, on this. You can run assists uh, if you so wish for this competition. So, um, for the sake of I'm on a controller, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, that is what I have decided to do for this, to give myself as good of a chance, as good of a chance as I can, pretty much. Uh, we're going to run into Magazine Beckers now. We're not going to be flat through here. Uh, we've got to slow it down. The ghost mode was a very quick test I did to make sure everything was working earlier. As you can see, I had a little bit of a trip uh, across the grass through there. We will be neatly enough onto the back straight. And today we're going to try and guess where the next braking point is because I still don't really know uh, massively well. Oh. The answer is a little bit earlier than that because we have missed an apex by a complete mile. Oh, we have it off. It's first crash of the day. I mean, it was inevitable that at some point I was going to have a big wandery smash into the wall. Um, I didn't think it was going to come there. That's just a little bit too much pass. Even with the assist on, you can still get yourself into quite a lot of trouble uh, with this car. I mean, it's a quick. GT3 is a quick, it's quick cars. Uh, you can have tremendous, tremendous accidents. Uh, I mean, that's a lap. It wasn't the most convincing lap I've ever done. Not by a long way. Now, we can be a lot quicker into turn one. That's a little too fast, though. Uh, just a smidge too fast. We'll get away with it in that we didn't hit the wall. It's always a bonus. If you don't hit the wall, uh, it is always a, uh, a very nice bonus there. Uh, we will now... We're a lot closer to the old ghost time on this lap out. Got a little bit more tire temperature uh, going on here. And we will hopefully not manage to, uh, to stack it into a wall. Uh, so, other downside I will mention of uh, the whole I'm in the boot of my car. Uh, it is on the relatively warm side. Now, I've got to say, this PC, uh, it's all liquid cooled and you see it's got what look like. I, I love the look of the essentially jet engines on the front of it. Um, I will say, I'm used to an unbelievably loud computer. You may have even heard my PC in the background of some recordings. It sounds like a jet engine. Uh, it's ridiculous. This is sat in the boot of my car, which is probably warmer than my office is normally, and it is dead quiet. It's actually really quite, quite impressive. Um, because, yeah, this is not really the environment you would normally put something like this, and it's got no problem. I mean, we're running this 
on, you know, full resolution maximum everything. And it is okay, absolutely okay, with being in the boot. Uh, more so than me, I think I would pack up before the, and then I've got the doors open as well. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pack up before uh, the computer does. Uh, all right, we are on a much better lap this time. It's still not great. Um, the main, well, I've got to get this final sector right this time around, which we are, that's much better this time. Just don't jump on the throttle too soon. Here we go, you still got the witness marks where I went uh, spearing off the track last lap. There's a little touch on the grass, trying to go under braking. Not the best really for me there, but we'll come out the other side. Here we go, um, let's have a little lift because I've turned in a smidge too soon. That's a better lap time. That is a better lap time, 2.07. I think there's more pace because we all got even wider in turn one. Okay, I definitely didn't realize we went that far off the track last lap. There's definitely a little bit more pace in the car. Uh, we are going to see if I can manage to extract it. Oh dear, we are having another crash. I've gone for the more laid back approach. It's more comfortable. Uh, <laughs> you get a little bit more so get a little bit more comfort. Could do with a smidge of work, this setup, not gonna lie. Um, however, I'm still kind of getting to grips with the car. I'm just getting on the power a little too soon out of these corners and back end definitely wants to come around. Uh, we're not visiting a wall again, but it's not conducive for a good lap time. I take it back, we're visiting a wall again because I put a wheel on the AstroTurf and don't do that. Stop running wide like an idiot. Fucking hell, I haven't gone off at turn one. It's a miracle. I'm not sure I've got turn two correct, but it's good enough. Okay, let's see if we can not crash for the rest of this lap. I'm having issues immediately. We're wobbling. We've got the wobbling under control. Not got wobbling under control. Back to wobbling again. It's fine. All is good, all is bad, all is bad. We're doing a Raikkonen, yep, well, everything is just about sorted. That, it, it started so well and then plummeted so, so quickly. I really need to stop doing rally cross with the Lamborghini because it's not helping me get a good lap time. This is this is just me driving. There's nothing, nothing to do with the wacky setup I've got going on here. It's just I cannot quite get the hang of the car. I also have no idea if you're going to be able to hear this. However, the birds are going absolutely mad out here. They are incredibly noisy. Uh, I don't know quite why, but uh, yeah, apparently today is the day they're all going to make a crazy amount of noise. So that's just another, say, another distraction. I'm yes, yeah, so let's blame the birds. That is the most racing driver excuse. And if it isn't being picked up by the microphone, it's going to be a really big letdown. But it is a very big racing driver excuse, that one. I've not spun this time. Actually, no, don't bloody say it, because I know what's going to happen if I do. I'm going to shut up now and concentrate on driving, maybe. Please do not spin on the end part of this lap. It's not been the easiest uh, time trying to get clean laps with this car, and this lap is actually looking half decent at the moment. It's not perfect, no. We lost it through there. God damn it. I keep gaining some time. Oh, don't hit the curb like that. That's not going to help. Lucky hell. I didn't think that lap time, that 207 was going to be that difficult to beat, but apparently that was sort of my beginner's luck lap, and now I can't seem to go bloody far. I can go faster in sections. Just can't go faster overall, and I don't know where I'm going here. We're all a little bit out of shape, but... Yeah, I was a little too cowardly into the chicane, and it ruined everything. Hell no, don't wiggle! Stop wiggling, silly Lamborghini! Oh, bloody hell, no! It was going so well, and now it's gone wrong, and I've found a pit wall, and... Curbs are mean. Curbs are really mean. God damn it, and now that's ruined two laps. Ah, pain and suffering has befallen me again.
Well, this is a new place to have an accident. Oh, there was a barrier we hadn't found, so we decided to go and visit it. <sighs> and this lap was ruined already, so it's not too bad. I do not want to speak too soon, and I've been very quiet for a while. Hey, we found some pace in the car. Ah, 206.3. I mean, it's not... I say, was a little wide through this first section. Um, and I couldn't quite get the power down out of this corner very... Struggling with this section, getting the power down. The rest of that lap, though, it was pretty bloody good as far as... As far as I can go, we've kind of broken, finally broken that 207. Well, there we go. Yes, I can indeed turn the boot of my car into a kind of little mini office, if you like, and sit, <laughs> sit in the car and play games if I so wish. Uh, this was a lot of fun to do, and a big thank you to uh, Acer uh, for letting me do this. i got to say, the computer performed, I mean, perfectly. It was in not the greatest of environments, uh, necessarily, and it did not miss a beat whatsoever. Uh, the Orion 7000 is a hell of a piece of kit, and <laughs> And yeah, this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun to do, uh, a lot of fun to mess around with. Uh, the monitor as well was uh, very good. Considering, again, we're not in perfect lighting conditions. We're in weird environments. And the equipment worked perfectly. My driving left a little bit to be desired, not going to lie. That's not the <laughs> fault of the equipment. That's me being a plank and not so great with this. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Of course, in the description, not only will I have links uh, to the information if you want to take part in the Predator Cup, but I do recommend you go and give it a try, most definitely. Uh, I'll also link the PC and the monitor that have been used, so if you want to go and have a look, want to go check them out uh, yourself, you can do. I'm not going to say you have to go and put it in the boot of your car. I mean, I'm lucky I have a big estate car. It will fit. It won't work in most people's cars. It's probably not the best place for a very high-end, very, very nice computer setup, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I would recommend an office, personally, but you do now know that if you so choose, you could run the setup in the boot of an estate car and everything would work very well indeed. That is going to be it, though, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.